Hey everyone. Oh my god. I almost dropped it. So for today's video, I'm going to do another journal video, but I'm going to portray my feelings onto this canvas and then I'm going to sell it. So if you guys want to purchase it, let me know. <laughs> so today I wanted to um, do this page. This page? Yeah. Um, and this is the one that I'm choosing. Frightened by my lack of emotion. Have I damaged myself so much that I begin to destroy the things I love? When there is no more self to destroy, we can only feed off others. I can feel for brief moments, but then my brain begins to analyze and destroy all the emotions. I don't know why this seems so intriguing. I love the way I can outsee everything, but I need to destroy myself, something that I'm willing to do. So that's just like dark, and I'm pretty sure I tried to be a poet, especially when I was high all the time. <laughs> but as I'm painting, I will, I will talk about that. Um, I chose the colors that came to me as I was reading that. I totally did not just fire it, that was literally this. Also, my water smells really bad. Um, yeah. Okay. Ah, nah. Oh my. I don't know why I keep smelling it. It's like oddly satisfying. Okay, basically I use gesso so it smells like um, actual fucking eggs. Okay. When I say frightened by my lack of emotion, this was a time in my life where I would feel very strongly and then I would get mad at myself for how strong I felt. And like, that totally doesn't make sense, right? And like, a lot of the times when, when you start to lack emotions, people label you as like a sociopath or just somebody that is just not selfless and does not care about other people. And it made me think that I was like a crazy person. Oh, Jesus. Because like, that's what society tells you when you start to like lose your love for things, right? No, I'm just gonna paint like this. The fuck? Like, that's just so hard for no reason. Okay. And I noticed that um, a lot of my days would be like dedicated to trying to feel in a way that was familiar to me because I was constantly in this like thought process that who I was before was who I have to be now. You know what I mean? Like I had to feel the same way or else I wouldn't be that caring Enza anymore. And I can't go through life without being caring Enza. So I constantly had this like hatred for myself and this hatred started to spiral into self-destruction. And one of the things I want to say about self-destruction that I actually thought about today is there's not essentially like a self to destroy. So the whole act of self-destruction and why it seems so painful is because like through this self-destruction is where we start to see the parts of ourselves that we don't like. And it also when we start to wake up to the world around us and the reality of it. And that's why we keep destroying this like illusion of ourselves because we feel like it's the only way for us to feel peace. Um, so on the outside it looks like, oh, this person's broken, but in reality they're just finding the answers and because nobody's understanding them, it's just like too painful for them to express that to other people. And like it's hard to accept that reality is like that. Like people that are addicted to like any kind of drugs or alcohol or anything at all, it's like they see the world for what it is and they just have to keep on repeating it but there's not essentially a self to destroy but self-destruction can be like a growth process and a very peaceful one when we destroy the illusion of ourself so there's no self to destroy but there's this illusion that we are separate and that we are this like being that has to be a certain way or act a certain way or feel a certain way in order to be identified as a self in order for us to grow, we need to destroy the old self, the self that is keeping us 
in pain and keeping us held back. Do you know what I mean? Ah, answer. I'm like, I'm really bad at multitasking, I just realized. So my next line in the poem was like, have I damaged myself so much that I begin to destroy the things that I love? And like when you're in this situation of feeling like you are not yourself anymore or that you cannot be the person that you once were to the point that you unintentionally bring that vibration to the people around you and you're not trying to hurt them. You're not trying to hurt them. That wasn't the whole point of the situation. The thing is that it's happening because you are, it's not that you're vibrating on that level, but it's just that you have felt how much pain that it brings. And the only way other people would understand you is if like they were in that situation. And some people do it intentionally, right? Some people are just really fucking shitty people. But other times people are in so much pain that they need to look outside of them to learn a lesson. I'm gonna paint this blue and then I'll be back. I painted it blue. Okay, um, so in the next part I said I could feel for brief moments, but then my brain begins to analyze and destroy all the emotions. And like I find that there's a difference between being aware of yourself and accepting yourself. Okay, like I feel, I'm gonna do like cool spirals. Do I have purple? I want purple. Awesome. That's messed up. Ooh. Ow. I think I'm just gonna drop it on and then spiral it out. Spiral into the void. And then, oh, shooty ballsies. I need to buy some more. So yeah, there's like a complete difference between being aware of yourself and then being judgmental because like if you are aware of yourself, right, you can make the changes because you're viewing yourself from an outsider's perspective. But if you are judgmental of yourself and of the way that you feel and like how you don't feel or act the same way that you did before, you're only creating like the same reality over again. And it can be like very damaging to the spirit because I it's not it's kind of like an ego trip in a way but once it starts interfering with your soul and like your purpose because you're becoming just like way too judgmental of yourself it can get like very scary and I feel like that's the place that I was in was like okay I'm a fucking shitty ass person and I need to change but I'm not gonna change if I'm gonna continue to be a shitty person so I try not to be shitty to everyone else. You know, it's about like not judging the way that you feel. Like I was, ooh, I'm gonna do it that way. I was constantly judging myself. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Sorry, look, it's like faces and I'm digging it so hard. I gotta just fix that one, boom. Give him an eyeball, he's got some hair now. I just did it everyone. So I was viewing my self-destruction from such a judgmental point of view that I just wanted to continue to do it, but not in a way that I was destroying my illusion of self, just destroying my being with all of these like angry comments towards myself and judgment and just like hatred for life and hatred for my past and just everything. And I thought that I was doing myself like justice or doing well for myself because I was like convinced that my life was a shit show because I was listening to other people's perceptions of life and then taking them in as my own and like that's like the biggest way to destroy your sense of self is comparing yourself to other situations as they are stuck in 3D reality because you're just comparing yourself to like nothingness. Like you're just comparing yourself to the way people perceive it and the way that they're observing life. I had to stop at the store because I ran out of my paint, guys. So I'm gonna just bloop, bloop. Oh, how nice. I love fresh paint. Okay, so it's just when you're in these dark states of mind and 
you know, you're not getting the support that you need. And instead of being labeled as somebody who's troubled, you're labeled as somebody that is messed up in the head, needs actual help, and is crazy. Like, how is that supposed to help someone grow? And obviously, they're gonna feel like crap about themselves. Instead of helping them, you're making them feel like their existence is this burden. Self-destruction, it just becomes some, it's kind of like a habit that you form when you don't have any other way of dealing with what's going on within you. And like you just keep doing it because it's what feels good to you. When it comes to this point of awareness and acceptance, it's very hard to find acceptance, especially if there's not support from the people around you. Now the whole idea is that you have to find this acceptance on your own. But if you're already like in a state of mind that isn't allowing you to see things from a non-judgmental perspective because you grew up in a society that was constantly judgmental, how are you supposed to grow? Which creates more pain because we're constantly judging everything around us and if we're in like lower states of mind, we're constantly going to be looking at things from like this lower perspective anyways like it's just this complete cycle and if like the support isn't there it's so easy to fall down into it and then like get really caught up in it oh jesus christ so the thing about like that's awesome about life is that in any moment we can just like wake up and decide to change it and that's how like we can grow in destroying the story that we tell ourselves like of like what our past was and what happened and who other people told us that we are because you know we're like scared to become something else in fear of rejection from other people or in fear of um losing people along the way look it made like a portal isn't that freaking dope like this is all the water surrounding it well guys i'm basically done my piece and get out of that illusion that you have a self and get into the fact that you don't need to identify your being with anything with that being said, here is the final souls just making their way in through darkness and light. They become one and meet in the middle. So that's the end of this video. I signed it. If you guys, if anybody wants to buy it, let me know. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down below if you guys have had similar experiences or there's things that you guys want to hear more videos about. I just thought that journal video is always fun and with a cute lesson with it, you know? Um, subscribe to this channel if you'd like. And also, uh, if you want to check out more of my other creative videos, you can subscribe to my other channel, which I'll link down below. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.